Hello guys! It's been a while since I have done like a vlog style video, so I am back with a vlog today. This weekend is going to be like a pretty eventful weekend. It is the Oregon Nail Expo, so I thought that I would vlog it, show you guys kind of what happens during the expo. I did do this one time before in the 2018 expo, I vlogged it, but so it's been a couple years, three years, so I'm gonna do it again. And I thought I'd just take you guys along. So today's Friday, and so today I'm just kind of preparing. I'm going to be heading to the studio in just a few minutes, and I'm going to be packing my little kit to take with me because I have a class tomorrow, so I need to bring some things to the class. So I'm going to do that. And then I also want to make a list. I already started a list of things that I need to purchase, like things that I'm out of. I'm going to go and make sure that just double check. Usually at the shows, they offer like some type of like 20% off or something. So that's usually when I try and stock up on a lot of things that I really, really need. I need to remove my nails because for the class, we need to have bare nails, dry manicure, cuticle, Russian manicure class. So we need to have no product on, my, on our nails. And we're also going to be applying gel polish and she's gonna be teaching how to like get super, super close to the cuticle with gel polish or your color. So I'm super excited about that. So I need to do multiple things today. I need to make sure my list is accurate, make sure I pack my kit and I need to remove my nails. So this hand is like, you see how grown out that is? It's like seven weeks grown out, I think. So this hand really needs to be done. Uh, this hand is looking a lot better, but we're gonna just remove everything. And then actually next weekend, not this coming weekend, but next weekend, actually in a week on Friday, I am going to get my nails done by someone else. I'm going to get them done by Emma in Boise, Idaho. I don't know, I'm sure some of you guys follow her on Instagram, Emma Does Nails. And we just happened to be in Boise next weekend and I messaged her and it worked out that I could go get my nails done. So even though I have to remove my nails for this weekend, someone else gets to put them back on for me next weekend. So that is like perfect timing. Super excited about that. Also, they're like doing construction back here. So sorry, you can probably hear that. We're in the nail studio now and check out my cool new like gadget for holding my phone. So I can like move my, sorry, my mirror's like dirty, but I can move my phone around and it helps keep it stable. So the video is like not super shaky. So that's exciting. So back in the studio and I've got my case here and I'm gonna use it to uh, pack for the class that I have. And this is like an OPI case. I actually got it from someone else. So I can't really tell you where to get it, but it has worked out really nicely. Um, uh, it's a little bit dirty because it was kept like out in the shed at one point. So sorry about that. But you've got these like side compartments here. And then you've got the bigger compartment at the bottom. Um, I have an extra e-file, so I might take the extra one. Then I don't have to worry about unplugging the one that I have at my desk. But then you've got these compartments. I've got some files in there. So I just need to double check what I'm supposed to pack for the class and uh, put it on there, bring that. And I need to get my nails removed and I've got a couple hours. That's what I'm doing today. Today's Friday. Tomorrow, Saturday is the actual class and my class is from eight to five. So it's a pretty long class. Sunday is the actual expo. So there's no expo tomorrow. It's just all classes and education tomorrow. And Sunday is the expo. So I need to get my nails removed ASAP. I've got just a couple hours before I have a, to be back home for a work meeting. So I need to get these removed and get packing and make a list and then we're gonna go. For my nails, I do have luminary on them. They have a little bit of uh, color from when I took off the design, but I have luminary. So all I should need to do really is file the bulk off and then just soak it in acetone and it should come off pretty easily. 
and um, yeah, so it shouldn't take me that long to remove the nails. jaw removed and my nails look still really nice and healthy. I'll show you guys. I just went ahead and packed up my kit here. I did go ahead and grab my other e-file. I'm bringing my Erica's e-file, some files, some buffers, uh, some lint-free wipes, a dust brush. So I did bring my hollow taco peel off base coat using gel polish in the class and i just don't want it to last very long because i'm gonna get my nails done again in a week by someone else so i just want it to come off super easily so i'm gonna bring the hollow taco base coat so that i can just peel off the gel polish safely uh, when that's done and that's about it a lot of the stuff in the class that we need is included the gel polish is included the bits and all that stuff is included, so I don't really need to bring that much, so pretty easy to pack for. And then I did go ahead and just double check if I needed any other, like to restock any colors. Um, one that I might need to restock is Fanfare from Luxio. This one is such a beautiful blue. It is like one of my favorites actually to wear on my toes. And so I think that one's getting a little low, so I might need to restock that one, but otherwise I'm good. And I've got my list all ready to go for the expo, so I'm just gonna pack up and I will see you guys tomorrow for the class. And also I did wanna mention that I will not show what I learn in somebody's class. So I'll, I might show you like little clips behind the scenes or show you the end result, but I'm not gonna like disclose what was exactly taught in the class because that's not fair to the instructor. You know, this is how they make their income. This is what they do for their job is teaching. And it wouldn't be fair to me to like plaster the information and what I learned all over YouTube. So I'm not going to share the details of what is taught in the class. I'm just going to maybe share a little behind the scenes and stuff like that. So for the day of the class here, we got a little kit with some supplies and we had to bring our e-file and desk lamp and basics like that. This was lunch. They had a buffet in the hotel. It was really delicious. And this was some of the stuff that came in the kit for the class, some e-file bits, as well as the Emmy Lac gel polish system. This is what she taught us to use in the class. And it was a absolutely wonderful class. One of the best e-file classes that I've taken, honestly. I really appreciate being able to take this class and having the opportunity to have it so close and local. So this was super nice. And this was the end result of what my nails looked like after the class. I didn't do any finish filing on these. So this is what she taught. And actually in the morning, it was so rainy and cloudy. And then it ended up being a beautiful day in the afternoon. And we went to one of my favorite places for dinner. It's like an outdoor place that has multiple restaurants. And I absolutely love the Vietnamese restaurant. It's so delicious. It's so good. Love the atmosphere. And it turned out to be a really good day. It is now day three, it is now Sunday, and I just made it to the expo. There's like no parking, so thankfully the guy um, working let me park just like in one of the front like 15 minute sections because it is super busy. So 
Um, I'm guessing there's something else going on here at the same time, but there's like no parking. So yesterday's class was amazing. Seriously, one of the best e-file classes I have taken. I am so excited about what I learned. Amazing class. So I highly recommend um, if you have a chance to take a class from Irina, I highly recommend it because it was really good. Today is the show day. So I am, it's about almost 11 o'clock and I think it started at 10. So I'm going to go in and take you guys along with me and show you guys a little behind the scenes of the expo. So for the expo, you walk into the hotel and make sure you get your registration and ticket all settled and then when you walk in the first thing that we see on the left side is the submissions for the nail art competitions and they are so amazing i love looking at them honestly my favorite was my friend lisa's she did this amazing like table setup with tea and desserts it was so cute this amazing 3d set and you just walk around and kind of Look at all the booths. There's a lot of different brands here this year and it was really fun. All right, we're with Sarah from Hi everybody. Polish Pinkies. Yes, from Polish Pinkies. So we sell ugly duckling and Polish Pinkies Pro Tools. That's what we're here with today. And then we're here with Max and Media USA. But so all kinds of things love to educate. What's the so website that they can get stuff from? You can shop at polishpinkiespro.com or magpiebeautyusa.com. Get your stuff! I always love the Magpie booth. They have so many colors and glitters and sparkles and the way they have their glitters organized. Oh my gosh, it's like the most beautiful rainbow of glitters and it is so enticing and you just wanna buy everything. It's so amazing. So this is definitely one of the highlights of the expo is getting to check out the glitters and all the colors. It's so fun. Then when you walk in through the other doors, first thing you see is Light Elegance, which I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of. And so I always love checking out the Light Elegance booth as well. Their glitter gels are just gorgeous. My favorite glitter gels. And you have also displays of tips at different booths, some nail art designs, just so much inspiration at every single booth. We also had Opre here for the first time. I believe this is their first year being at the Oregon Nail Expo, which was pretty cool. And we have Beanie Beauty Box. They make my all-time favorite leaf gels and their gel polishes are super nice as well. They're nice and creamy and pigmented. Well, hi! How are you doing? I'm good, how are you? Good, you and your phone, man. You're like a Instagram. <laughs> I always enjoy getting to see Jess at the Love Nails booth. She's the distributor in my area for the Accents brand, which I use a lot in my videos. I'm sure you guys have seen. And she's just been a huge inspiration in my nail career. So I love getting to see her and stocking up on my Accents products. And here's some more tips that I just thought were so beautiful. It's just amazing to see what other people can create. It's just so inspiring. And at the Light Elegance booth, there was Darcy doing some demonstrations. I'm sure you guys have seen Darcy on the Light Elegance YouTube channel, as well as the Light Elegance University education program. She is the head educator for that.
Okay, so back in the car now after the expo and oh my gosh, there's so much stuff to see. I love going to the expo. I'm gonna show you guys really quick what I got. Okay, first of all, I have to show you how freaking adorable this is. So I got a couple things from the brand. It's Trend Setter Nails and she makes the most adorable things, stickers and um, pins that I'm gonna show you. So we got like a sticker that says nails, nails, nails. Look how cute this sticker is. It's like a frappuccino and it's like holographic with a hand. And then we got a little cup with some brushes and files and a little nipper over here. Okay, look at these pins, you guys. Seriously, look at these pins. We have a little nipper pin. So cute. We've got an e-file and it's like two pieces so you have the box here and the hand piece and then it has the little chain that connects the two like how adorable is that and then we have this super cool this one glows in the dark it's like a nail lamp with a hand going in it isn't that cute some little other little pins like one says oil your cuticles there's one so adorable and now it's raining, so I'm just like, oh my gosh, it's like raining really hard now. So hopefully it doesn't mess me up. But this is just from the Look At Me shop from Irina, where I took the e-file class yesterday. It's her shop. And I just got some of these little dust brushes. They're like really tiny and you can like hang them on your finger and they just work really well to get the dust off. They're like not too stiff, but they're not too soft. And I apologize that it is like raining so hard right now. And I hope that it's like not super loud in the video. Um, we got three, I got three glitters from Beamy Beauty Box. I haven't used, I love, love, love their metal leaf gels. If you haven't tried them, I have like every single color. They are my absolute favorite, the metal leaf gels. And these are their glitter gels. So I haven't tried their glitters. So the metal leaves are like more like silver leaf that's been colored. So there's like different colors. And then these ones are gonna be actually glitter. So I got three shades, Crush, Flirt, and Kiss. Looks like a silver one. So three shades of the Beamy Beauty Box glitter. And from Light Elegance, which I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of, I got two of their dust brushes. These ones are like bigger and fluffier and they just work really well for like after your removal or something getting all the dust off someone's hands i grabbed two of their light elegance super shiny which is like my all-time favorite hard gel non-staining top coat and i got one glitter gel i try again i tried to rein it in so i did not go crazy so i got one glitter gel which is you bring the wine and it's like a really like pretty pink rosy color that was gorgeous and i got some stuff from accents i got stocked up and got a trinity clear trinity sw1 it's raining so hard so i also got sc1 just a small one um which means it's cool so it's more of like that cool tone pink whereas warm the sw1 is more of like a peachy pink and I restocked one Luxio color, which is Fanfare. And I got some stuff from Magpie. We got, I got two Like a Diamond top coats, which is a gel polish top coat. It does have a sticky layer, it's not a no wipe. Two Magpie Give Me Strength, which is not a top coat. It's a thicker, just clear gel that you can use to strengthen like a gel polish mani. Except I love it for mixing with glitter or going over the top of glitter with it. That's what I love to do with this. So I got two of those and I'm out like running super out of both of these. So I really needed them. And I got some like little glitters, this cute smiley faces, some little Mickey heads. I got some light pink butterflies, uh, some light blue butterflies. My, I love butterflies in the springtime. Dried flowers, some light purple butterflies. I got a lot of butterflies. Oh, and I got one sticker that's like a gold 
little print there I thought was pretty. So I think that's all I got from the expo. So that was a quick little haul. Uh, definitely check out the Oregon Nail Expo if you ever want to come. I will link the website down in the description box along with all of the companies that I talked about. It's usually in May of every year so and it's by the airport so it's super easy and convenient if you're not from around here and you want to like fly in it's literally at a hotel right by the airport so you could stay in the same hotel and it's super easy and convenient for that so i definitely loved all the stuff that i learned and I love seeing all the companies and I love seeing all of my nail friends. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm gonna cut it off here. Um, it's been a lovely weekend at the Oregon Nail Expo and I will see you guys later. Have a lovely day.